Hi, this is Lee in Maine. I'd like to show you something that uh, can be really helpful for one person. Normally it takes two to three people to do this. One person is unsafe, so but this would make it safe, okay? Now the first thing I'm going to show you is using the typical cigarette light lighter plug and using the extension that you can buy, which is about a 10-foot uh, extension. And temporarily, I'm using some alligator clamps on the end because uh, I don't have the right plug, but it will do the job for now safely. On the cord over to the electric winch. Okay, now with the electric winch, as you can see, I have a handle. All right, now with the electric winch running the cable up through the space of the spare tire on the railing on the small trailer here, the 5x8 aluminum, between the second and third railing, as you can see. Run that cable there. Then you run that winch cable all the way down to the trailer, off the flatbed, to the generator. And as you can see on the bottom of the frame of the generator, I got it tilted up. And the reason behind that, once it starts to tighten up, the uh, cable and the winch is going to bring that right up on the pad, right up on the trailer. And that's a one-man job, not uh, uh, <laughs> two or three to try to do it safely. But because I have nobody here and I'm trying to save some time safely, I'm going to go ahead and uh, work the uh, winch and the handle and bring that up. Okay? Now, everything I'm doing here, as you can see, is going to make the job a lot easier. So, as I was showing earlier, bring the cable over to the electric winch. And there's one last thing I have to do, is I have to tighten the safety nut on the side. That nut there puts the winch all in position to operate it remotely. And I can stand back here and while standing back here, if that cable breaks during the initial tightening of pulling it up the ramp and that cable snaps and flings, I'm safely away at this point. There's the cable tightening up across the bed over to the generator. Keeping the vehicle running will keep the battery fully charged. There's a couple times uh, I've used this system by using one of the batteries out of the BTS, pulling one of those out, hooking it up to the winch and doing the same thing, and then putting the battery back. As you can see, it's bringing it right up right now. And as you know, if you haven't really tried to ever do this by yourself to bring one of these generators up, you know that it's almost impossible. And you can see how it's tightened up, how we're halfway up on the ramp, nice and smooth. The cable's tight right over to the winch. Bringing it back, let's finish the job. Now it is at a point that I can go ahead and maneuver the generator into its position, tie strap it down, and there was no effort 
the heaviest part for me to, was to actually put the winch on. And the type that I got, by the way, I did not show this at the beginning, but this would actually go around the ball of the truck. But since the ball's already taken up with the trailer, I slip it over the tongue, put the pit pin back in, and as you can see, it makes it solid. And it works it very, very safely. Okay, well this is Lee. This is one of the things I've been talking about. And with that generator there, and that gas uh, tank, which is 30 gallons about, uh, I can actually fill up two, two generators. So I can fill this one up as I drop it off, as I pick up the next generator, fill it up, and drop it off. For one person on the road, that makes it a lot easier. And as you can see, it's snowing. Welcome to Maine. Hey, we'll wait five more minutes and the weather's going to change. Let me go get my Bermuda shorts on. This is Lee in Maine. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.